Welcome to Chris's Caribbean Delights, an eclectic cooking channel. And today, as the holiday approaches, Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving, then Christmas, um, we want to do our, our basic favorite dishes. I'm going to make a sorrel cake. So I'm going to use the, the, the flowers from the sorrel from the, that I boiled for the sorrel drink. And we're going to make a sorrel cake. So the ingredients for the sorrel cake are as follows. Let's go to those ingredients. So here we are. Now, as a regular cake, you know, you need eggs, butter, sugar, and stuff like that. So we have six eggs here and we have some butter. We have a pound of butter, four sticks of butter. And I also have some mace powder. Uh, if you can get mace powder, nutmeg is fine. Um, you can get this online, mace powder, if you really want to try it. Here we have some baking powder. We have some mixed some, uh, almond essence. Here we have some cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And here I have some clove powder and the mace powder, a tablespoon of mace powder and a tablespoon of uh, clove powder. And we have some vanilla. Um, also, we have some salt to balance everything off. And we also have some nutmeg here to enhance the flavor. Uh, to cut the eggs, the, you know, the rawness of the eggs, we have some lemon peel. And this is the sugar. And we have uh, four cups of all-purpose flour here. So this is what we're going to use for the cake. But the main thing for the cake would be the puree, the, the, the puree of the, um, of the flowers, of the hibiscus flower or the sorrel flower. These are the sorrel flowers that I made the, the drink with. And I have some of that uh, sorrel drink in here, which I'm going to uh, reduce. And I added, I added half a cup of sugar in here. I have some ginger in here. And I also have some uh, cinnamon sticks, a couple of cinnamon sticks. We're going to put this on the fire, um, on the heat. We're going to boil it and let it reduce for a little. We're going to boil it maybe about 30 minutes or so. Get the, we're going to get the, the, uh, the petals soft and flavored with the, uh, with the ginger and the cinnamon. And then we'll puree this. We'll make a puree with this and um, th that we're going to add into the cake. And this is going to give it that rich, nice red color. Okay. So uh, let's get our puree done and let's, let's get our, our florets on the fire and get the puree done. I forgot to mention, I have two cups of uh, uh, fruits here, ground uh, pureed uh, fruits, raisins and the, the Christmas fruits, the fruits that we'll make for a black cake or a Christmas cake. I have two cups of that, which I'm going to add into the sorrel cake. So, and this, 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 these fruits were soaking uh, since last year, as a matter of fact. Um, <clears throat> so, it's going to have a wonderful flavor with the alcohol and the sorrel. So, we finished boiling for our puree. It has reduced by half and the, the petals, the flowers are nice and soft and they're candied. They're really sweet. So, that's good. So we're going to take the spice out, uh, the, the cinnamon, and, uh, and I saw a couple of star anise in there. I'm going to take those up, but I'm going to puree also the ginger in there and leave the ginger in. So let's get to the blender. So to my blender, I'm adding the, uh, the sorrel florets, the sorrel flowers. I took the um, I took the cinnamon out of there. I have this liquid here. I'm going to save this liquid. I'm going to add some liquor to it, and this is what we're going to spray the cakes with when we get when when they get out of the oven. So I'll just cover this, and we'll just let it. Oh, we got to plug it in, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I just need to add a little liquid, a little more of the liquid in here to get it going. Okay, here we go. So here is the puree. The sorrow puree. This is gonna go into the cake. I need <clears throat> I think four cups, four cups of this, along with the fruit, along with the the, um, the regular fruits. And this is a nice puree here. Lovely color. So let's get it all in here and I'll be back. So let's start baking and we're going to be going to the mixer now. My stand mixer and I have uh, the butter in there. A pound of butter and a pound of sugar. And we're going to let that let that incorporate until it's nice and fluffy okay so let's uh, let's close so here we are let's close our mixer and we'll start it on slow speed and let the start to incorporate and once that happens, we'll just raise the speed to medium and let it continue going. So while our mixer is going with the butter and the sugar, we'll get some other ingredients um, together. So. Three, three cups of puree and we have two cups I already measured out of mixed fruit of the of the blended fruit two cups of the blended fruit and I have three cups of puree I will we'll just mix this all together. And we we'll set this aside until we're ready for it. Now for our dry ingredients. We have your four cups of flour here. To the flour. I'm adding four, four teaspoons of baking powder. One tablespoon of uh, cinnamon. One tablespoon of mace. And two teaspoons of clove powder. That's the mace, the lighter color. And a clove powder is the darker color. And two, one teaspoon of nutmeg, grated nutmeg. And you can always adjust your spices depending on your taste. Okay. Just to get it all incorporated here. And the whisk does a wonderful job of that. So that's ready to go. And once we start putting the eggs in, we'll put the rest of the, oh, I have, I forgot the salt. The salt needs to go into the dry ingredients. And that's so. <laughs> so 
We'll whisk that in. We'll whisk that in. The salt. Our eggs. Give this a little whisk. Makes it easier to incorporate. Then it goes into the blend to the mixer. Put my uh, lemon zest in here. The lemon zest is going to cut that raw, uh, that the rawness of the egg. So you want the lemon zest to sit in the egg for a little bit, you know. Just to sit in the egg. I think that's good enough. And whilst we're still waiting for the butter and the sugar to mix, we just put our let's put the the essence. That's the the vanilla and this is the almond let's put it into the wet ingredients here stir this in and if the essence sits in here nicely for a while even that is going to infuse the fruits and it's going to be wonderful it's going to be delectable So, we also need to prepare a pan. I'm going to use a bunt pan here um, for this one. So, I have some melted butter here. Some melted butter. I usually would use a brush. I love using a brush to get in all the crevices in here. To get into all the crevices of the bunt pan. So, and I use my brush. And I just brush the melted butter in here. Okay, I'm back. Now that the butter is incorporated with that sugar, and we're gonna, it's time for me to add the puree with the fruit. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we can take, take the paddle off for a while so we can get some free access into here. this is the, the blended fruits with the alcohol and the puree of the the sorrel puree we'll start a mix and slow let it all incorporate for about five minutes So now that we've incorporated our puree and fruits, we are going to add now the flour mixture, the drying ingredients. And I'm going to add the dry ingredients a little at a time. So that it could just be, I do it in three steps. Let 
let's go with our second portion here. Third and final set of flour. a few drops of uh, red food coloring um, just to bring that color up so it's working that in and once that's worked in you're ready to put it in the pans and let it bake for an hour and a half it's pouring our into a bunt pan first this it's going to smooth out on its own as you know okay so our sorrel cake is ready for the oven okay so we're gonna go with 275 for about 45 minutes and then we'll drop it to 250 and we'll go another 45 minutes because it's gonna go uh, it's an hour and a half I'm gonna bake it for an, an hour and a half so let's go into the oven at 275 for 45 minutes. So after about two and a half hours, my toothpick comes out clean and I know it's time for my cake to come out. And once it's out, I'll brush it with this this is alcohol and the and the, the liqueur from the from this the puree that I boiled I, and it's going to absorb this wonderful alcohol mis mixture and I'll save some of it for when I turn the cake out I also paint the sides so I just let this uh, Well guys, here's a delicious and decadent sorrel cake. It's made from the sorrel fruit and it's delicious, it's decadent. And it's it's a, a, a work of art for the Christmas. You can just do this and the family will be so happy. Um,
I must wish everyone a wonderful holiday and thank you for watching. And this is to die for. This is the sorrow cake, the sorrow cake for the Christmas and the Thanksgiving or any holiday that you feel pleased to make it for. It's delicious, decadent, and awesome. Once again, thank you for watching Chris's Caribbean Delights. It's an eclectic cooking channel. Well, we'll now do a taste test. Let's cut into our sorrel cake. So let's try this uh, sorrel, sorrel cake. It has a wonderful color. I love the color. Mmm. The consistency, nice and dense. Decadent. The sorrel is coming through. The flavor. This is so good, and it's not too sweet. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Anyway, cheers. Once again, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. It's all free. And just enjoy the videos that I'll be putting out. I'll be coming, coming around to the holiday season. I'll be putting out lots of stuff and um, lots of tips for the holidays. And we'll include some drinks in there. Some, let's do some mixology. Okay, so cheers once again and bon appetit.